Oh. I have just watched the most infuriating nonsense video on YouTube, and for the first time in my life, I feel like I need to react to it. Now, the video is entitled, Parliament Quietly Abandons Heat Pumps, and they don't want you to know about it. Even the title, I'm... Let's get into the video. So the video is on a channel called the Skills Builder Channel um, by a gentleman called Roger Bisbee. Now, Roger's been around for a long time, and to be fair to him, some of the videos on his channel are actually really quite useful. But some of the anti-heat pump rhetoric that I'm starting to see on his channel is just utter nonsense. Now, he claims he was forwarded this by somebody um, who has a channel called the Silver Fox Hot Takes. Again, another channel I just wouldn't waste your time with. Um, who requested this under a freedom of information request. It's funny because I saw it in the newspaper. Don't need to worry about freedom of information requests. And he says that MPs are throwing out heat pumps because they don't work in the House of Commons. Who's surprised that a building built in the mid-1800s uh, with classical architecture and large halls and lobbies can't really be insulated to modern standards because it's a grade one listed building? So I'm not surprised that heat pumps that are generally designed for more modern buildings with good insulation don't work in the Houses of Commons. But what he's trying to do is spin this to say, because it doesn't work in the House of Commons and MPs don't want them in the House of Commons, it's not that MPs don't want them in the House of Commons, it's the trial has come to the end and the evidence suggests that they don't work well enough in that particular building. But let's not let the facts get in the way of a good story. He's trying to say that because of this, heat pumps don't work for anyone. Well, the evidence suggests they do work in old buildings. Now, this is just utter nonsense. You can take any building and providing it's sufficiently insulated and the heat pumps are sized correctly for the heat loss of that building, they will work. I'm not surprised in a building with massive halls that are designed to sit 600 people that a heat pump that was probably incorrectly sized for that size of building in a building that can't be insulated properly didn't work as well as everyone expected. He then went off on a rant and said that Guy Fawkes had tried to modernise the building but failed. Roger, you need a history lesson. Guy Fawkes tried to blow up the Houses of Parliament in 1605. That building does not exist anymore. Even if he had modernised it, as you call it, that building would still have been knocked down and the current building would have been built in the mid-1800s. He then goes on to say, well, all the old duffers in the Houses of Lords all sit around in cloaks made of ermine, so they're all going to be nice and warm. Yeah, they put on their ceremonial dress for about one day a year. Utter nonsense, Roger. I don't know how many times this has to be said, but not every building is suitable for heat pumps. Many, many of them are, and they should be converted to electric heating as soon as possible. That means we're not dependent upon imported gas. You know, from the dude in Russia that thinks he can invade other people's lands. He then goes on to point out that Ed Miliband, the current Secretary of State for Energy, has installed a heat pump in his home. And he's probably enjoying a nice warm house and lower bills because of it. But then he throws out an accusation that this might have been a freebie and he should watch out. I would be careful about throwing out accusations like that, Roger. Ed Miliband's solicitors might come knocking on your door. He then goes on to say that people in Portcullis House complained about the noise of the heat pumps outside. He presents absolutely no evidence of this, but anyone who's ever been in that part of London will know there's a lot more noise that would drown out the sound of some heat pumps running at the back of the building. You know, the traffic in Parliament Square, the quite often protests that go on there, the thousands of tourists outside. Oh, and the big clock next to it that chimes every hour. Then we come on to my favourite bit. He says, well, if we're not going to use heat pumps, what we should do is use a slinky that we put into the Thames, you know, to catch all that heat that's drifting up and down and then coming back with the tide. So a technology that doesn't exist, you know, the magic slinky that captures tidal heat. Is this supposed to be serious? 
Yeah, let's try an untested technology from a mad old dude on the internet rather than find a more sustainable way to heat the Palace of Westminster. He then starts to wrap up this rant by saying that we're all being forced into experiments on the great British public for heating technology that doesn't work. Even though this technology has been used in other countries for decades, even countries with much harsher winters than we have here in the UK, and they work just fine. But maybe we should all just pack it up and stay with gas, because from what I understand, Roger, you're a big fan of gas boilers. This whole video is just utter fear-mongering from a has-been from the heating industry. And just when I thought the video was wrapping up, he changes topics and goes on a rant about diesel cars and massive gas reserves under Lincolnshire and claims it will make us warm and safe and have energy security from a tiny little gas field that we would need to frack to get the gas out of the ground. He claims it won't be cheap because the government will put tax on it. But let's be clear, Roger. The government won't be the ones that are drilling or fracking the field to get the gas out. That'll be a private company. Yes, that private company will pay tax, but guess what? They're going to want to sell that gas for the highest profit possible. So therefore, it will not be cheap and we won't have energy independence. He says he's had enough. And to be totally honest, I've had enough of him. <laughs> but let me know your thoughts below and let me know if you've seen it. With that, I'm going to sign off. I'll be back soon with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.